Here's how the city wants to spend the money and how it'll work. The goal is to build or acquire 1,300 units. Making current units that qualify affordable housing is the quicker job. Building new units will take longer. But in the end, the city wants 600 units for people with 30% or less of the area's median income. And 650 to be larger homes of two or more bedrooms for families. The goals also include focusing on equity and spreading affordable housing throughout the city. Nick Sovey started the nonprofit Rose Community Development 25 years ago to create affordable housing. He knows the homeless and housing situation is critical in Portland. And what the bond will do now is big, especially with federal dollars dwindling. It just means we'll be able to buy more units, buy more land to do more units, and it's going to keep a lot of people in their homes or um, create new homes that people can afford. The plan is to have all the affordable housing available for people who need it in the next five years, some of it very soon. Now, the city council can go ahead and approve this blueprint after it's presented today. Then October 23rd is the date that the Housing Bureau can start spending money. Uh, first up, the Ellington Apartments in Northeast Portland, more than 250 units that exist now at market rate, will be turned affordable and start helping people right away. And then much more to come after that. Brenda, back to you. Tim Gordon, live downtown. Thank you.